Good morning, Miss Sheila. Good morning, ma'am. Okay, Miss Sheila, can you tell me about yourself? Ma'am, my name is Sheila Pantaleon, 24 years old, single mother of a 3 year old boy. I finished at Inter College. I took up PS in Technology from Social and Legal. I already worked as a housemate before. Okay, I have few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Why do you want to work as a maid? Ma'am, to help my family. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other countries? Ma'am, because it is near in the Philippines. How are you qualified for this job? Ma'am, because I am honest, hardworking, and willing to learn. Okay, may I know what is your education level is? Ma'am, I finished second year college in PS Food Technology. Okay, what is your recent working experience? Ma'am, I already worked as a housemaid before. Okay, have you worked abroad before? No, ma'am. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, ma'am. Who's baby? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Because I have a son, he's two years old. Okay. How about uh, elder or older people? Do you have the experience that you take care before? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. My grandmother is 82 years old and she is partially blind. Okay. Do you have any other special skills? Yes, ma'am. Cooking. Can you? Okay, good. Cooking, dishwashing, laundry, and ironing. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Filipino food, ma'am, like adobo, tinola, singa. Okay. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores like cooking, cleaning, ironing, and washing, which do you like most? Ma'am, cooking, laundry, and washing. Okay, if ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kid? Ma'am, my parents. You are not allowed to use handphone or cell phone during working hours. Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone or cell phone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing, abusing your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you're not allowed to hold it anymore. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You're only allowed to bring normal phone and you're not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Yes, ma'am. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Yes, Can you describe for me your ethics or your attitude? Ma'am, I am a honest, hardworking, and willing to learn. Okay. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? Because I don't want to disappoint my employer. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Can you promise? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite uh, friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? In, sorry, yes. employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for a salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, example, breast cancer or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy or physical defect? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Do you have tattoo in your body? No, ma'am. 
Do you take any prohibited drugs before? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation or surgery? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit? Are you fit to work? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you prepared to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat a type of food taken or given by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Ms. Sheila, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months, if ever any of your family members pass away, what will you do? Will you continue to work till finish your contract or you will go back? Ma'am, I will continue my work until I finish my contract. Okay, tell us about yourself and why you want to work in Malaysia as a domestic helper. Ma'am, I am Sheila Pantaleon. I am honest, kind, and hardworking. I want to work in Malaysia to help my family. Okay, Ms. Sheila, what do you want to tell to your employer who's watching your video? Ma'am, please choose me because I am honest, hardworking, and willing to learn. Okay, thank you very much, Ms. Sheila. We will update your agency if there's any selection made by the employer. Thank you, ma'am.